Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes, and today I'm going to talk about how to use Audacity to uh, pitch bend or do the whammy bar effect with your electric guitar. So, this is a, this is a whammy bar here, and what it's for is if you play a chord, C chord here, and you hit this bar, you can bend the pitch down, or So anyway, you can bend the pitch by using this thing. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy off. So maybe you don't have a whammy bar, or maybe you want to add in some pitch bending afterwards after you recorded something. And uh, you'd like to know how to do that in Audacity. Well, we'll show you how to do that today. So here's our whammy bar. And we will look at Audacity and how to do that. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is use Audacity. We're going to plug our, we have our jack that goes into our electric guitar here. And it's a quarter inch jack. And our computer only has an eighth inch input, so we have an adapter. It goes from quarter to eighth. And we will hook that up to our guitar. And I have a uh, mic input in the front of the computer. We'll plug that guy in to our nice little computer over here. And um, so now we'll, I guess we'll just record some something. All right, we'll hit record here. And Audacity is recording. And okay, so I guess. Um, you want to make sure you get your, your mic levels set right here. And um, and sometimes the, the uh, audio offset in the computer, I think it's got a capacitor in there, it will get like set high or low, it'll drift up high or low, and you have to let it equilibrate for a little bit. And so I, I think we have everything set up, so we'll hit record here. And we can record, we'll just hit a C chord. Okay, and let's uh, actually let, let's do it a little bit quicker because I, I don't want to wait that long. Okay, there we go. We got a C chord on there, and we'll stop it. And uh, let's play that back. Oh, sometimes Audacity does some weird stuff. Anyway. Okay, so I guess Audacity crashed. So it's a free program. Uh, the good thing about it is, is that it recovers your your uh, stuff that you're working on pretty well usually. And so I brought it back up, and it recovered. You hit recovery when you're bringing it back up. And here's the uh, chord that we just played. Okay. And so now we're going to try to do some post-processing pitch bending on it. And so if we go into effects and we go down to uh, it says sliding time scale pitch shift right here, and uh, it was set at zero, and I changed that to uh, 40, 46 here, and uh, this was set to zero, and I changed it to minus two. This, I believe it's going to shift the pitch up a little bit, and then it automatically calculates that. And so if we do the pr processing of it and it will chug away okay and uh... so it's, you, you can play around with it and do different types of pitch shift but so you, you can hear the pitch sliding up let's let's uh... let's undo that and we'll we'll make it slide even more how about this so we undid the the pitch Okay. Let's let's go back to effects, and we will uh, instead of two, let's make it a whole octave and see what happens. Okay, do some processing on that. Yeah, let's see what this sounds like. That sounds like a steel guitar. Anyway. Uh, so if you want to post-process, do a little pitch bending, 
on uh, certain sections of your music or your guitar or whatever afterwards with audacity. Now you know how to do it. This is Dr. Jane's and thanks for watching.